Okay, so this was a very interesting crypto lawsuit. It's a class action lawsuit, and it was brought against Elon Musk, our favorite, um, always in the news for something dramatic and exciting. Um, in this case, uh, he um, has been sued uh, for 258 billion US dollars by people who invested in Dogecoin. Uh, the investors lost a huge amount of money and they claim that they were acting upon Musk's advice when investing in Dogecoin. Um, uh, the, the coin itself was apparently made uh, as a bit of a joke uh, mm. based on a meme mm -hmm. uh, of a cute little dog doing silly things and um, had been worth basic had been worthless for most of its existence until Musk started talking about it on his Twitter, which then, of course, encouraged people to invest in it. The price shot up and then uh, all the shareholders sold their shares very quickly at a high price, making the value of the coin crash once more. So um, uh, it peaked in May 2021. The price now is almost worthless again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes, um, there is an ongoing lawsuit against Elon Musk for his advice. Yeah, mm. yeah. I think this type of thing, um, there is a phrase that you saw in the article that we are going to go over later called caveat emptor. Mm -hmm. I think most people would just say buyer beware. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think this is a very good application of that phrase, mm -hmm. personally. I think if you're going to invest in a joke coin, you're going to have the possibility of losing money. Mm -hmm. And crypto in general, but especially the ones that are jokes. Do company owners in your country often fight, bet, butt heads, kind of fight with regulators? I do know that there's a very fun and famous case between Apple and the US government. Mm. Um, the reason, I, I really don't like Apple as a company for many different reasons. I won't go into it here, don't worry. However, one reason that does make me like them a little bit better is because they really like security uh -huh. and they like their private data to be secure in their own company. And when the U.S. government came knocking, saying, please give us some data on this person or that thing or whatever, uh, Apple said, no, we're not going to do it. And when the government fought them, Apple said, let's fight. And they won. So Apple has made strides to keep uh, some private data away from the hands of the government, which in my book is good. Um, so that was kind of cool. I think that was kind of a uh, sort of a butting heads with the own government and mm -hmm. everything. But yeah, absolutely. There's so many companies that butt heads with regulators all the time. Mm -hmm. Companies don't like regulations. Yeah, I guess in general they don't. Mm -hmm. I suppose that I, don't, I can't think of any specific examples, but I suppose the city of London um, is... Uh, our main financial district. And um, I suppose uh, they fought uh, many cases against regulation uh, pretty successfully. Um, so, uh, well, I guess they really fought against using the euro back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And I think that perhaps was a good decision. Uh, I think so, too. <laughs> I think Brexit, some, on the other yeah. hand, yeah. Not, don't know about that, but so yeah, much, but I yeah. think it was kind of the best of both worlds, get our own currency, but still be part of this, you know, union. We had yeah. a sweet deal. Yeah, that was a sweet opinion. deal. And, you know, things like I, I would assume like Greece and stuff were very happy with the euro. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, other countries, maybe like Germany, are a little bit worried about the euro. Mm -hmm. Have you guys heard of any pump and dump schemes in your area, country or maybe even around the world? So I did think of one good example. Um, Jam in Java is a coffee product mm. and it's made by the Marley Company, like named after Bob Marley. Yes, after the Bob Marley. They use his image on the packaging, all legal. It's a, a licensed Was product. Was he connected? No, they oh, uh, just licensed his image to promote their okay. coffee. Um, and that particular product, the Jam and Java product, they in the company um, released a couple of articles where they invented uh, third party investors that apparently were uh, investing in this new product, new coffee. Mm. Um, and uh, so the media picked it up and started republishing the articles. Mm. Many people saw this, thought, oh, mm. this is the hot new coffee, started investing in it. It wasn't until later that the creators of the company uh, sold all their stocks 
uh, sold all their shares at sky high prices, ah. and an investigation mm. began into this mysterious sort of peak mm. and sudden fall in the stock prices. Mm. It became became clear that they had invented these articles mm. about the third party investors, mm. and they went to court in November 2015. I don't know if Bob Marley would approve that message. Yes, yeah. yes. I don't know um, if he'd be about that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's Not so shame. much. Finally, let's take a look at some of the key vocabulary from this unit. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye now. Butt heads. Butt heads. Rhyme or reason. Rhyme or reason. Talk up. Talk up. Jilted. Jilted. Caveat emptor. Caveat emptor.